Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So this is this game is a journey into nature where you'll discover various plants and mushrooms, including some that are poisonous. While the game is as accurate as possible, it is not a replacement for proper foraging reference. Please be careful when foraging in the real world. This is out and about. When in doubt, leave it out. Um, this is out and about. This is the demo. Um, it is a it's a foraging game. If you couldn't tell by the little thing, it just, the little spiel it just gave about you know, don't sue us if you pick something that you know you thought was what you were getting in the game. Um, but it's a little like you know, it's a little chill, cutesy looking game. Ooh, we have character customization. All right. Um, pronouns. I am. <laughs> My pronouns are Kyle. Name. Also Kyle. I'm kidding. No. I'll be he him. <laughs> Apache helicopter would be funny. Uh, let's see here. Yep, yep. Hair. What kind of hair do we want? What kind of hair do we want? It's actually got some decent... Huh. It's got some decent choices. Oh, what looks closest to me, though? We'll do that. There we go. What have we got for kicks? What do we got for some kicks? I guess we'll do the pure white shoes, because, you know... It's not like we're going to be going out and foraging, right? Like, it's not like our shoes can get dirty. Sure. Close enough. Here we go, here's the storm. Perfect for foraging, you know? My grandpappy always said... My grandpappy always said that you go you go foraging whenever it's, there's a tornado outside. And this is a demo. It's still in early access or whatever, so... I don't... I don't expect it to look perfect, you know? But it does look pretty good so far. I would do it to say that, like... So far, this is a pretty decent looking game. Oh god. Well, it was a pretty decent looking game. Now I'm here. Granny! Hello! Can you hear me, pumpkin? It's said to leave a message at the beep. I hope you got it alright. We may need to find somewhere else to sleep tonight. The storm made the hill above town collapse and drove a tree through my roof. Oh, Granny. You remember the way to that? To my house, don't you? I'm the one with dementia, not you. You do remember the way to the house, right? The storm will have left a mess along the path, so you just mind yourself, pumpkin. Also, my best friend Barbara went out foraging near your campsite. Maybe you can keep an eye out for her on your way? See you soon. How old is your friend, Granny? What the hell? There's fucking... Oh, this camera's kind of weird. There's fucking old ladies out here? What? Uh, who are you, Annie? Hi. Oh man, you see this? My campsite is a mess. Looks like my tent securing still needs work. If the campsite is this bad, the town must be in real trouble. We need to go check on everything. Follow me, there's no time to lose. Ah, uh, yes. Oh! Jesus Christ. And he's got superhuman strength. Ah, uh, yes. Let's just follow a stranger. Am I Naruto running right now? Let's just follow this stranger into the forest. Yep. Nothing could ever go wrong. 
I think we can squeeze we can squeeze through here if we work together. You lead on, I'm right behind you. Oh. I thought this whole operation was your idea. We're pushing through. Youch, that really stings. Looks like I've cut my hand. Barbara's gonna to have to patch me up again. If I know Barbara, she'll be out here foraging. We should try to find her. Or we could just... We could leave her. Was I... That's crazy. I wonder if there's any bears in these woods. Who the hell are you? Oh, this is Barbara, of course. Annie, you poor dear, have you hurt yourself again? Come here, let me take a look at that for you. I cut my hand moving some trees blocking the path. I was in a rush to get back to town to make sure everyone was okay. As always, your heart is in the right place, but your hand does not. Let's get you some rib ribwort plantain to dress that cut. Oh, I saw some further on the path towards the coast. It grows all over these woods. Good eye, Annie. Your friend here can help us gather some. Take this basket and foraging cards with information about ribwort plantain. It'll help you identify and harvest its leaves. Most plants grow in patches with similar species. Ribwort grows along with its cousin, broadleaf plantain, so you should take its foraging card as well. Make sure not to take everything from a patch so that the plant will remain healthy and will regrow. Ribwort plantain grows in sunny places along paths. Okay, we got a basket. And we got cards. <laughs> Hell yeah. About to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> we got... Is this a trading card game now? I bet my ribwort plantain can beat your... Whatever the other plantain was. Alright. So I gotta gather some... <laughs> Please don't tell me that's right here. Uh, that might be, that might be broadleaf. No, actually, I take it back. That is ribwort, because it's got the little thingies. All right. Click on the identifiers. Long and thin sphere shaped. Yep. Parallel veins. Huh? Small, creamy flower. I don't like that word. Creamy? What? Who uses creamy to describe a flower? Oh, I see. Then this is the other one. There's the leaves. There's the... Flower? Quote unquote, <laughs> the creamy flower. Wow, Annie, you dumb bitch. If you had just turned behind you, turns out. There, it was right. Actually, you're standing right next to some. In fact, further down the path, my ass. Also, your eyes are fucking massive. You couldn't just be like, oh, turn around, and there's some. Literally, some of it right there. Literally, don't look at me. Don't, don't look at me. Yeah, and you look away. Don't look at me either. I don't trust you. All right, now, uh, so I gotta gather it. F, E, can I just, oh, okay. Chop, 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 chop. Do I need just the one? <clears throat> Harvest plantain, four of twelve. Okay, so no. Chop, 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 chop. I should let this ribwort regrow. Oh, come on. Chop, 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 chop. You know, Annie, I really feel like you should be doing this. All right, Barbara. Well done, Mousy. These leaves look lovely. You seem to have a talent for this. Maybe we should collect some more plants while we're out here. With the storm, we'll need extra supplies. 
Yes, having a good stock of herbs and med medicinals would be wise. If you show me pictures you've taken of plants, I can give you their foraging cards. Oh, okay. So I gotta take pictures, and then I'll get cards. Interesting. Oh, I have a spare camera you can borrow. Thanks, Annie. That's very generous of you. Bring me back pictures of any plants you find, and I'll give you extra. I'll give you a foraging card to guide safe harvesting. I could just give you the cards, you know, so you could practice safe foraging. But no, I'm gonna make you work for it. I secretly want you to eat something toxic and die, but I'm not gonna go out and say that. Be careful. Many plants have dangerous lookalikes. Make sure you know exactly what it is that you are foraging before you pick it. Or don't. Please eat the red mushroom. Eat the red toxic mushroom. Annie's camera. I just ripped that thing off of her neck. Even though it's still on her neck. Alright. Uh, photograph plant patches. I'm assuming it'll get highlighted. These plants don't count. Even though they look very flowery and Onk. One picture. I do like the little Oh, some little daisies. I do like the the running style, how it just kind of changes. Sometimes you're skipping, sometimes you do that little Naruto run. Jesus, look at this tree. Jeez. Look at the vast nothingness. Is that the town over there? It must be. Alright, one more plant. Probably not. Yeah, I was gonna say, not too far from where they are. Oh, I already did that one. Alright. Uh, one more, one more. So you? No, I did that. What the hell, Barbara? Harvest. Hmm. You a dandelion, maybe? You look very similar to the other one. I'm calling bullshit. Oh. Alright. Found chamomile. My aunt used to drink chamomile tea a lot to aid with her sleep and relaxation. She'd carry it in her little thermos jug wherever she went. And this is its cousin, the common daisy. This bitter flower makes a wonderfully soothing salve and tastes lovely in salads. Neat. Got daisy. Got chamomile. Ah, yes, dandelion. Edible with plenty of medicinal applications as well. Its name stems from the French Dente de Leon, which means lion's tooth because of its leaf shape. Very similarly, but with less medicinal uses, we have flatweed. I brewed some lovely coffee the other day made from flatweed roots. Interesting. Stinging nettle, often found in growing, often found growing in ruins and disturbed ground. It's extremely nutritious and tastes like spinach. And this is red dead nettle. Despite its name, it's actually part of the mint family. It is sometimes cultivated as a ground clover. Interesting. Wait, so did I find extras then? Because I, I only did those two before. Hm. What do you mean? And here we have yarrow. It has many medicinal uses and can help to stop bleeding. It is also edible, although it is bitter. This, on the other hand, is the highly toxic poison hemlock. It's said that the famous philosopher Socrates died of a poison made from hemlock. Ah, yes, I've seen hemlock before on TikTok. Okay, I found so many plants here. That was way more than four. Let's go. 
cut up all these bitches now. That is... That's definitely flat weed. Leaves. Interesting, interesting. That's dandelion. I know a dandelion when I see one. I... When I was a kid, I used to take dandelions and, uh... Chop, 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 chop. And I would take the, like, the yellow flower, and if you rub it on your skin, it makes, like, a yellow paint. Okay. How much do I need to harvest? Four of ten. That looks like hemlock. I'm gonna make a poison! Can I... Okay, I can't. I can't cut it. Oh, you win this time. I will make a poison, though. Eventually. You can't stop me! Where was the other ones at? Crazy? How? Why can I not find? Oh, wait, what's that? I'm not ready to harvest that. Here we go. Do this. Uh, green. There's green. Crazy, right? Square stem. Weird flowers. Stinging nettle. Oh, I've seen this one before. I used to pluck that all the time at a friend's house. The little tulipy things were kind of cool. Alright. I would like to harvest. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. There we go. Okay. How's that? Uh, harvest all plants in the area. Oh, I have to take one of each? God damn. God damn. She wants everything. I just did that one. Where did those little yellow ones go? I saw those a little bit ago. Is there some up here? That's dandelion. Here we go. Here's some. Alright. That's chamomile. You can see it because of the, the weird leaves. And then daisies have the thick leaves. Interesting. I'm learning already. Okay, so you want to take the flowers from this one. Alright. Uh, inspect all plants in the area, 9 of 10. And then harvest all plants in the area, 7 of 9. So I'm missing one. No, I just did those. How am I getting lost in this tiny little area? What are you? Ah, you're Yarrow, I think, because of the... I see Hemlock has a couple, like, branching out, like, really big. You guys just have a long, so yeah, you're Yarrow. You could not see those little flowers, the little yellow flower bits. 
That was my problem. Damn it, I wanted to kill a philosopher today. Let me have my hemlock. Okay, uh, harvest all plants. So I'm missing a plant, actually. Who did I not harvest? Did I not... I did that one earlier. That's the one that I did for her, right? Okay, I guess not. Damn it, I'm pissed off now. It's okay, I'll cut that out. No one's gonna see me looking like an idiot for ten minutes. Looks like you found them all, yeah. Took me like an hour, but hey, I did it. Well done, these supplies should help us get back to our feet. And his hand is starting to look better now. Thanks to you. My hand does feel much better now. Thanks. Can't say the same for some of these trees, sadly. Barbara and I are going to stay behind and make sure they don't cause any trouble. Those are called, uh, widow makers. It's on a tree. If you go camping, you gotta always look. Because if there's, like, branches that are kind of hanging off of a tree, they can, uh, fall and crush you in your sleep. Why don't you go check on your Granny May? Head down the path along the coastline. If you see a signpost, you're going the right way. Take a right, and you'll be there in no time. I'm lost. Help. Follow a path through the forest along the coast towards town. Oh, is that what that sign meant? If you if you're far away, it kind of just looks like a dog poop. All right. If you continue on this path, you'll end the demo. What? What do you mean? Is that really it? No. I don't want to end the demo. All right. Well. I guess that's all it's got for us. It is just a demo after all. Well, this is pretty. Until you start looking at the decrepit town. Thank you for playing the Out and About demo. Use the QR code below to wishlist the game on Steam. I think I've already have. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this uh, video, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Um, let me know if you've got any recommendations for other games you want me to play. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Personally, I thought this was a cute little game. I'm excited to see what happens with it. Alright, see you guys.